Asia is a continent teeming with ancient civilizations and peoples, among whom the Japanese stand out. This people, along with their genetic relatives, the Chinese and Koreans, possess a fascinating and deeply rooted culture. In this video, I will explore the possible biblical origins of the inhabitants of the Japanese region. Have you come across information about the biblical influence on the formation of the Japanese people? Do you believe that the Bible discusses the origins of all Asians? There are numerous curiosities and mysteries intertwined between the Japanese and the Bible, motivating me to share this video with all of you. Don't forget to express your opinions, like and comment, share with other interested individuals. This is another video in our series, The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. Japan, referred to in Japanese as Nihon or Nippon, or more formally as Nippon Koku, is an island nation located in East Asia, situated in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. Bordered to the west by the Sea of Japan, it extends from the Sea of Okhotsk in the north to the East China Sea, encompassing the Philippines and Taiwan in the south. Japan is part of the Ring of Fire and consists of an archipelago of approximately 14,125 islands. The five main islands are as follows. Honshu, it is the largest island in Japan, where the capital Tokyo is located, along with important cities like Osaka and Kyoto. Hokkaido, positioned to the north of the country, it is the second largest island, known for its cold climate and stunning natural landscapes. Kyushu, located to the south, it is the third largest Japanese island, housing cities like Fukuoka and Nagasaki, as well as breathtaking natural areas. Shikoku, it is the smallest of the four main islands, situated south of Honshu, famous for its tranquil environment and beautiful landscapes. Okinawa, this is an archipelago south of Japan, composed of several islands. Although not one of the four main islands, Okinawa is a significant region, recognized for its tropical beaches and unique culture. Undoubtedly, Japanese culture and the Japanese people have exerted a strong influence, especially in countries like Brazil and the United States, where there is a significant presence of Japanese descendants. This influence is notable due to extensive migrations and interactions between nations. A common question that many people raise is related to Eastern peoples, especially the Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, and other ancient ethnic groups. Interestingly, just like with all peoples worldwide, the Bible also provides a narrative of origin for the Japanese people. The Japanese are considered descendants of Adam and Eve, as well as Noah and his children. For Christians, regardless of their denomination, questions about the origins of the Japanese people according to the Bible often arise. Some mistakenly believe that the Japanese, Chinese, Koreans, and other Asian peoples do not have a biblical origin, but this is a misconception. In fact, all these ethnic groups have a well-detailed biblical origin. However, many scholars either overlook this information or simply do not disseminate it. In this video, I will address the origin of the Japanese people, shedding light on this little-known aspect. For those unaware, the Bible provides an origin for every nation, tribe, kingdom, people, and language in the world. Following the biblical lineages from Adam and Eve to Noah, the Noahic, Hamitic, Semitic, and Japhetic lineages are established. Noah had three sons, and from them arose the three main lineages that form the basis of the world's peoples today after the flood. According to the Bible, in Genesis chapter 10, the table of nations details the origins of the peoples. It's curious to note that Ham gave rise to African peoples, including Indians, while Japheth gave rise to Europeans and Asians. A fascinating aspect is that Shem gave rise to Semitic peoples, encompassing Arabs, Jews, Syrians, Saudis, and other Middle Eastern peoples. Asians, in general, have three biblical characters in their lineages from Noah, giving rise to various Asian populations, such as the Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, Taiwanese, and other ancient peoples. 
It's intriguing to note that the Japanese have these three biblical ancestors that contributed to the formation of this people with an extraordinarily rich culture. The first character in Noah's lineage who gave rise to Asians, including the Japanese, is Sin, grandson of Noah and son of Canaan. There's even an exclusive video about Sin and the origin of the Chinese if you're interested. In Hebrew, Sin is known as Sinim, being one of the most mysterious characters in sacred scriptures, according to ancient scholars of biblical genealogies. Sin, the son of Canaan, is responsible for contributing to the emergence of various nations in the Far East, including Japan. The Japanese are descendants of Sin, just like the Chinese, whose origins are also linked to this character, the son of Canaan and grandson of Ham, the great-grandson of Noah. An intriguing question that many may raise is how the lineage of Ham, which gave rise to African peoples, could also contribute to the emergence of an Asian people like the Japanese. This question is fascinating because there are African tribes, such as the Khoisan tribe, that exhibit traits like slanted eyes and lighter skin compared to other Africans. Although not as clear as the Japanese, Chinese, or Koreans, these tribes share some similar features. Sin, in giving rise to the Japanese, is part of a process that involved various mixtures to form the identity of the Japanese, Chinese, Korean, and other peoples. The second biblical character who contributed to the origin of the Japanese people is Tagarma, belonging to Japheth's lineage. He is one of the sons of Gomer and a brother to Ashkenaz and Riphath. Ashkenaz, a term used in Hebrew and Aramaic, refers to Scandinavia and the Nordic peoples, such as Germans and Norwegians. On the other hand, Riphath is identified in ancient genealogies as the ancestor of Celtic tribes in Ireland and other parts of Europe. Tagarma is mentioned as one of the ancestors of the Far East peoples, genetically contributing to the Chinese, Japanese, and Mongols. The third character playing a role in the formation of the Japanese people is surprisingly a female figure. She is Japheth's wife. Scholars delving into biblical genealogies and studying cultures and languages to find more information about these characters believe that Japheth was responsible for introducing European genetics, such as blonde hair, possibly red beards, and a light skin tone. As for Japheth's wife, she is described by some scholars as a woman of Asian appearance. Some even suggest that her name was Asia, and she was the progenitor of Asian peoples, including the Japanese. There is a particularly fascinating tribe, actually a clan within the Chinese community known as the Xiongnu. Through the analysis of mitochondrial DNA, it has been discovered that they share surprisingly similar genetics with various European groups. This suggests and provides evidence that Asians and Europeans have a closer genetic connection than previously imagined. Naturally, each group has inherited specific characteristics, even considering that the Japanese descend from Tagarma, Sin, and, evidently, the wife of Japheth. This diverse genetic heritage is present in Japanese DNA, with contributions from various characters representing different ethnicities. Each of these three characters meticulously passed down their characteristics, forming the diverse nations that exist today in Asia. Asians, East Asians, and notably the Japanese are descendants of Tagarma and Sin, the latter being the ancestor of the Chinese. Chinese ancestry is particularly prominent in the Japanese, revealing the complex genetic web that connects these Asian cultures. An intriguing curiosity is that the region of China, along with other areas in East Asia, is often referred to as the land of Sinin or the land of Sin. Interestingly, the inhabitants of this region, including other countries around China, are known as Sinic or Sinitic peoples, indicating their descent from Sin, the son of Canaan, mixed with the genetics of Japheth, in this case, the genetics of Tagarma. Manasseh ben Israel, mentioned by John D., identifies the Sinites as the Chinese and the neighboring peoples of China, such as the Japanese. Claudius Ptolemy, in his work Geography, also refers to China and neighboring countries as Sin or Land of Sin. The Sinites, the Japanese, and other Asian peoples are mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 12, 
which says, Behold, these shall come from far, and, lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of sin. Additionally, in Ezekiel, chapter 38, it is mentioned as the house of Tagarma, along with various peoples around it. It is important to note that the Bible uses names of characters from the table of nations to describe locations, geographies, and the origins of peoples. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay motivated and inspired on your path to success.